everyone, I'm Sarah of Bridge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the alternate spike stitch, which is the pattern that you see here in front of you. I think it's quite a pretty stitch. It's a, a basic stitch made with single crochet spike stitches and single crochet stitches. It creates a fabric that is the same on both sides and I think it's really quite pretty. It's a dense uh, pattern. It doesn't use up a whole lot of yarn. Uh, but it does take a little while to work because the stitches are so tight together. So this is the alternate spike stitch. We're going to learn how to crochet today. I'm going to be using the Karen times Pantone yarn as well as a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. If you're curious more about these products, you can take a look at the description of my video and you'll find links uh, there that will uh, give you a little bit more information about them. So thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Uh, please feel free to subscribe and check out some of the other tutorials, stitch tutorials, and free crochet patterns that you'll find here on my channel. Why don't you grab a hook and some yarn and we will learn how to crochet the alternate spike stitch together. So for our alternate spike stitch, Today, what we're going to do, it's worked in rows. We're going to start by making our slip knot, and you're then going to chain an even number of stitches. So it can be any even multiple of stitches. I'm going to start today by chaining 20. There's 10. Once you have 20 chains or an even number of chains, you're going to single crochet into that second chain from your hook. So count in one, two, single crochet into the second chain from your hook, and then in each chain all the way across. At the end of your first row, you will chain one and turn your work. At the end of row one, chain one and turn your work. You're now going to begin row two by working a single crochet into that first stitch. And you're now going to work your first spike stitch. So to work your spike stitch, what you're going to do is you're going to actually work into the space below the stitch in the row below. So normally you'd work into the top of your single crochet but when working the spike stitch, you're going to go down below that stitch into the bottom of the stitch. And that is where you're going to work your next single crochet. So this is a single crochet spike stitch below the next stitch, insert your hook and work a single crochet stitch. You'll want to bring your uh, loop up to the same height as your single crochet. Just like so. You're then going to single crochet into the next stitch and then work a single crochet spike into um, the, it's basically into your foundation chain two rows below. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Single crochet into the next stitch, spike stitch over the next single crochet in the next stitch and a spike stitch over the next. So continue that all the way across. When you get to the end of your row two, chain one and turn your work. I'm now just working my final single crochet in the final stitch. And that's what my work looks like after my second row. So I chain one and turn my work. I'm now going to work another row of spike stitches but I want them to alternate. So here I have a single crochet followed by a spike and then a single crochet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work a single crochet stitch into my first stitch and then a single crochet into that next spike stitch 
And then on my third stitch, that's where I'm going to work my first spike. So I'm going to bring my hook down just below that row. So there'll be like a little bit of a space there. And I'm going to insert my hook under that next stitch and work a single crochet spike stitch. Then single crochet into the next stitch and single crochet spike stitch. Repeat that all the way across. As you work, it does get easier to see and feel where your spike stitches will lie if, uh, if you are having a hard time with that. Just remember to bring your loop up to the height of your single crochet so that you don't cause your fabric to turn over on itself. When you come to the end, you're going to single crochet into that second last stitch and then single crochet into your final single crochet. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. We're now basically going to repeat that pattern. So your rows two and your rows three. So single for your next row, your row two, single crochet into the first stitch, followed by a spike stitch into the next, and then a single crochet followed by a spike. When you get to the end of your row, you're going to chain one and turn your work. And then you're gonna start the next row off with two single crochets and then a spike stitch. And that's all there is to working this alternate spike stitch design. So as you keep going, you're going to really see these um, staggered spike stitches come out quite nicely. So that's all there is to working this simple stitch. Thank you so much for joining me. I'd love to hear how you would use this stitch in a project. Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.